Deacon Kramer, our live feed is about ready to go live, but we're having trouble with the audio. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I can hear you okay. The Holy Father's mic is getting a weak signal, but go ahead, Deacon, because of time restraints. Thank you. Oh, Holy Father, thank you so very much for, for allowing us to come and see you today on this very important day for, for the Minot. Uh, you know, I really can't believe that you allowed us on short notice to come in to see you. But back in our hometown of Minot, um, in Minot, North Dakota, we were honoring Father Robert Williams and Pat Jones this evening uh, for the work that they've done for the Minot Catholic Schools. And I'm here this evening, Holy Father, asking your blessings on both of them. Oh, well, Father, uh, Holy Father, Father Williams is deceased. Uh, but Pat, uh, Pat Jones is at the presentation this evening and, in fact, is watching as we speak this evening. Uh, what? Oh, no, I don't know. I, I hope I didn't misconstrue this to your people that somebody told you that it was Jerry Jones of the Dallas Cowboys that was being inducted. It's Pat Jones. And, and if they told you that we could, you could get good seats every time you're in Dallas, I'll try to relay that to the Cowboys and see what we can do, but it is Pat Jones. And no, Jimmy Jones, don't worry, Holy Father, it, they're not serving Kool-Aid. They will not drink any Kool-Aid at this event this evening. It's, it, it's Pat Jones. I, I do have a picture. In fact, I put it right in front of you, Holy Father, of, of Pat and Mary. Mm. No, she didn't no, Holy Father, she didn't marry a real old man. He's got white hair, you know, but he's not an old man. In fact, they were very close to each other at uh, at Bishop Ryan High School. They graduated from Bishop Ryan together. They're very close in age. Um, and, and she is pretty. Mary is very pretty. Well, I, it's awkward, Holy Father, but, it, you know, if you say she's hot, then she's hot. And... She, she, yeah, I guess, okay, she's hot. But they have three great sons. Chris is the oldest, mm -hmm. then Eric and Matt is the youngest kid in there. They're just great kids. Wonderful kids, Holy Father. And, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, Pope Benedict. Bishop Zippel is at the presentation this evening, and I worked with him uh, twice in the last week, and he's really doing really good. Although I think it's, I think he is anxious to, to be retired. So whenever you can find it upon yourself to name his successor, I think he would be greatly uh, happy about that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Four more years? It's going to take four more years before you think Father Justin Waltz is ready to be our new bishop? Oh, that's going to be big news when I get back to my not holy father. But he is, you know, as you know, he's from... Uh, St. Louis, the home of the Cardinals. No, not those kind of Cardinals. No, don't make him a Cardinal. He wants to retire. Do not make him a... You make him a Cardinal, he's going to turn out to be one of the St. Louis Blues. That, that's the hockey team, Holy Father. But in all seriousness, Holy Father, Pat deserves this honor. No one deserves it more. Uh, he has chaired along with myself the last two financial drives that the Minot Catholic Schools have had. Uh, Pat is, is, is very, very diligent in helping poor families, people that can't afford to send their kids to the Catholic schools. Pat helps them with that. Um, he quietly makes sure that all families can go to school at the Minot Catholic schools. He, he doesn't like any fanfare, but he helps a lot of people financially, and um, he is really, really w worthy of this honor. And, and, but no... That his coaching, uh, along with Donnie Wald, has nothing to do in helping Pat McNally with this award. He had he had nothing to do with that award. And no, it wasn't me that was hollering at Pat Jones from the, from uh, Pat McNally at the stands. It was it was someone else I think that hollered at, at Mr. McNally. But his coaching prowess had nothing to do with this award. So um, no, you're not going to have to listen to his acceptance speech. It, oh. Because, yeah, he talks a lot. I mean, yeah, he talks a lot. And if Mary and him were together, it would be like two hours. But he's promised he won't speak over an hour, uh, Holy Father. And you're not going to have to uh, 
to, to listen to that. But um, it's going to be a wonderful event this evening. Um, I, I would love to offer a toast to Pat, Holy Father. We don't have anything here. I'm asking the people back in mind that if you want to take your, your wine, you take this book, the good book. So I, I should take the good book, and then what do I do with that book? Open it? Oh, so we'd like to propose a toast to Pat Jones on his honor. Congratulations, Congratulations Pat! Congratulations, Pat! Congratulations, Pat. <laughs>